Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and today we're taking a first look at Notion Mail, which I just got into the beta yesterday. I've been using for less than 24 hours, so this is definitely a first impressions, but wanted to share the app because I haven't seen a lot of people sharing what the app actually is like to use. Um, I think I can make this video. Uh, I didn't sign an NDA. Nothing in the welcome email said I needed to keep it quiet or anything, so I assume this is fine. Hopefully it is. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it. I want to get pricing out of the way first. Um, I will say if I go to settings, plan, it opens the regular Notion app. Uh, I am a free Notion user. I don't pay anything to Notion, and I, I get some good value out of it just for the free account. I assume some of this will be paid, especially the Notion AI stuff, which we'll take a look at in a sec, um, will probably be paid once it goes um, public. But yeah, for now, it's totally free. Everything's available. And yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at a few basic things. Uh, the first thing I like about this is keyboard navigation is excellent. It all works really well. I can kind of move around, archive, select multiples, get out of there. There's a command K bar so I can search for commands. I can search for platformer. I could, so I'm getting also my emails here. Um, so pretty cool. You can also search with a slash that just searches your emails up at the top get out of there and yeah, I can kind of go back here and lovely. So I like the navigation. Um, you may have noticed when I go ahead and hit enter, it brings up the uh, email in this kind of like overlay. If you don't like that, that's fine. Um, if you go into the app settings, uh, there are a few options here. Uh, there's a side peak option, which is pretty good for triaging. So basically I can continue to arrow through my emails here. Um, and they all just kind of load on the side, uh, which might be what you're looking for. Uh, there is also the ability to do a full page option. In this case, of course, it is a full page thing and you're going in and out. Um, and I should mention, of course, all this is possible with a mouse. You can do that as well. I'm just a keyboard email guy. Um, but let's go back to the center peak because that's what I prefer. Uh, should also be said, uh, there's a couple settings here. You can use dark mode all the time, light mode all the time, or match your system. Uh, you can auto advance. Every email app's got to have this. What happens when I archive a thread? Uh, do I go to the next one? Do I go to the previous one? Do I go back to uh, the inbox? What do I do? Um, and so those are all there. Uh, there's a couple other things. We'll get back to those in a second. Oh, it does turn on a default signature. This is sent with Notion Mail. Just turn that off. Um, you can leave it if you want, but there's really no benefit to you for using it. Um, so yeah. That's some of the very basic stuff. Uh, it's there, it's quick, and I like it. I, I really like the keyboard navigation. I find Notion and Notion Calendar aren't as keyboard navigable as I wish they were, and so I'm glad to see that this is, uh, this is great. This is really, really good. Um, the next thing I wanna show you are views. And so views are over here, and basically you can have multiple views. This is similar to Superhuman's split inboxes or something like that. But basically you can have certain emails get automatically put into a separate view outside of your inbox. And so let's go ahead and do that for my App Store Connect and test flight emails. You could also do this for like newsletters. I have like my newsletters um, here I need to read. Um, I could get those off into a different one, but we're gonna do this because it's very simple and I can just show you very quickly. So we're gonna go to auto label, and this is a Notion AI feature where it's gonna type what we want. Um, describe the type of email to label. So I'd say app store connect and test flight emails, not emails, emails that have app updates. And we're gonna split that, and now it's kind of doing that its thing. It's searching for relevant emails, so it's gonna find emails already in my inbox that match this kind of search and it's going to automatically label these going forward so that these types of um, things go into their split inboxes. So test flight, test flight, app store connect, yes. Um, phased release, actually this, yeah, this one would actually count app store connect, financials, yeah, let's do that. We can also see more that might fit. Yeah, these are all good fits. So you can kind of confirm that it knows what it's doing. You can go up here and change these settings. So I don't want it to be app updates, I want it to be app store. Uh, can I add an emoji here? I can change the color. So let's make it green. Sure. Uh, description. Sure. And split from inbox. So you can uncheck this and that'll make it so they're still in the inbox. They just have the label. I want them to actually be split off. So let's go ahead and save it and created the new app store view. There it is. And so now all of these emails are labeled as App Store, and if I go to Inbox, they're gone. So I really like this. I really like having specific types of things go into these different um, views, uh, split inboxes, whatever. 
they're called views here. Um, so pretty cool. I really like that. You could also do that for newsletters. So you could say like any newsletter goes into a separate one as well. Um, I'm not going to do that now. You get the idea. Uh, but yeah, you kind of go to auto label and then you can go ahead and just describe it. Um, one thing I will say is if you like go into an email, you can auto label similar ones. So you could, you might think what you could do is basically create a newsletter one from here. I would not advise it because this is going to be like, it's going to use the subject line. It's going to say we're creating ones based on, um, insights on AI and technology trends. That's not really what I want. So yeah, don't necessarily use that. Um, or maybe, maybe do, maybe it'll work for you. But for me, uh, just kind of creating the natural language string up here um, has worked pretty well for me. So those are auto labels. Uh, I think those are pretty cool. And next thing I want to show you are templates. Templates are basically different ways to view your inbox. So this is kind of just, if we go back, this is just kind of the default kind of way to look at like newest, oldest, uh, separate inboxes, all that good stuff. If you go into templates, if you're using Notion mail or your email for something else, this could be helpful, right? So if you're using it for like uh, support, for example, like you're getting support emails here, uh, they have one for support. And if we create this one, it's gonna show all of your emails, um, but with statuses. And I actually tested this a few minutes ago, so it's actually held on to those. But like, if I see, oh, this came in, this is something I need to act on like immediately. Now that's an important, um, this one, uh, that one can wait. I just need to move all these out of the no status and kind of up here. And then I can work through my queue, right? And so I am not using my email for this personally, but this could be a nice little low, um, low setup version for someone who has a piece of software that gets some support email and they don't have a whole support system or anything that are using this one, something simple, this could work for them. So I think this is pretty cool to have built in. Um, again, there's some other uh, templates here. There's for like recruiting, uh, internal. So if I had like employees who are emailing me, I could make sure those all get split off. Um, I could also do that with a, just a normal view. I don't really know what the deal is there, but yeah, some other things here, maybe they'll expand these, maybe they won't, who knows, but, um, Pretty cool. I like that that's an option, at least for people. Um, the last thing I want to show you is in settings, and there are snippets. So snippets are just template emails um, that can have like different things here. So uh, they have a whole bunch of pre-filled ones. I created one called Wallpaper, um, which is basically for when people email me and say, hey, I saw this wallpaper. What What is it? It is almost always the same pack. I always have to find the link. Um, I actually still have to find the link. I need to replace it here. Um, but you can create like a date or yeah, insert your availability. Uh, sn other snippets, I guess, can go in here. So you can put snippets inside your snippets. But anyway, let's just see how this would work. Uh, let's say Casey Newton emailed me and said, hey, I love your love the wallpaper I saw in your video. <laughs> Where is it? Um, I could just hit R to reply, and then I could hit slash to go into their commands. I could type snippets, or I could probably type wallpaper. Yeah, wallpaper as well. Enter. Um, and it says, hey, first name. Looks like it didn't. Um, looks like there's no name associated with it, so I'd have to actually type it out here. Um, let's try a different one, actually. Uh, let's try this one, maybe. Reply, wallpaper, hey, Simon. Yeah, so that one worked, so good. Um, and so, yeah, you can just send out these emails quicker. Um, again, not necessarily something everybody needs, but if there are things you find yourself sending out quite a bit, it's nice to have those built in. And, yeah, that's a... Uh, Pretty much it. Uh, there's certainly going to be more in this app to check out in the future, but this was a first impression. And since I haven't seen a lot of videos of people showing the actual app, that's what I like to do here. So hopefully this was helpful um, to at least get a sneak peek at what the app's going to be like to use. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.